So out here at the range today, uh, Bryson was nice enough to bring me out to uh, one of his uh, local ranges, and he's cool with the people here, so we got to come check it out, you know, while they're closed. And uh, great time for us to sample the Microtech Defense Industries R2K9 uh, 9mm suppressor. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's good to have Wayne out here and uh, get some shooting out and uh, see what this suppressor is capable of. Um, there's a lot of design and manufacturing that went into the suppressor and uh, something cool to test and just get out here and play with. Yeah, we're going to, we got some plain 115 grain ammo. We're going to do some uh, 147 grain subsonics and uh, I got some 124 grain plus P, so we'll see how that stuff runs through it as well. Uh, we're going to shoot it wet and dry and just kind of, just kind of tinker around with it and, uh, you know, see what this thing's all about. Yeah, I think it'll be a So one of the things that I think is pretty cool about this uh, suppressor is if for some reason you were to say pull this off your 300 blackout and you had the wrong piston in it and you forgot to bring your tool with you, it doesn't matter. You can take off the front end cap. Front end cap actually has a uh, hex pattern built into it. And that hex pattern actually allows you to remove your piston. So you take off the piston retainer there, your spring and your piston come out. Then you can switch over to a fixed barrel spacer or one of your other thread pattern uh, pistons. Another cool thing about this is the baffles are retained. The baffles aren't going to fall out when you take this end cap off. You could actually shoot it with the front cap uh, removed from it, but probably better better idea to just keep the front cap on there in case you were to drop it and ding up the edge and then your front cap won't go back on. Um, another cool thing, if you forgot your toolkit, the piston retainer can drop in there and also using your front cap, you can remove the retainer that actually holds the baffles in. So let's put this back together, get it on a gun and, and start shooting. Let's give this thing a, uh, a try in a full, full length configuration. Uh, gun's clear, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. It's just a sexy looking can. <laughs> you know, it's not bad looking at all, is it? Uh, first rounds, we're going to run through it. They're just standard full metal jacket 115 grain let's uh see how this sounds the 115s are make a little bit of noise out of here Bryce, you want to give it a try absolutely now we're going to turn down to the camp <laughs> How far was that? That's uh, about 120 yards steel. <laughs> so it's funny though because you can actually hear the level of sound on this versus the steel. The steel was louder than the gun. Well, and here's the funny thing: that gun, I wasn't really prepared, and I didn't put uh, suppressor si suppressor height sights or anything on it. So I mean, you're you're aiming with standard sights, kind of aiming through the can to hit stuff, but pretty yeah, good, man. So next on the table, we're gonna do some. Uh, Spear Gold Dot, 124 grain plus P. Just a couple of them. I don't want to waste a whole bunch of my defense ammo. That's definitely a little hotter. <laughs> Give it a try, Bryson. All right. Yeah, the impulse is definitely more piercing, but that's still, still pretty consistent. Oh, yeah. And you get a lock back. All right, guys, we have the Spear Lawman 147 grain. And uh, we're going to see how these shoot. It should be a little bit quieter than the 115s and 124s. Oh, yeah. Night and day difference. That's crazy. Dude, Dude get a load <laughs> of this. Wow, man. Like, that's unbelievable. That's crazy. You're not even getting that echo back there anymore. Like, no, that's, not at all. That's way cool. <laughs> I 
I love this. Guys, there's a berm about 100 yards away. And Lock you can, back. You can hear the bullets hitting the berm louder than the gun's action. It's unbelievable. Wow. I think we're going to have to try it in K configuration. See what kind of sound we're getting with those 147s. We'll try it dry and wet. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, so we're going to shoot some more of these 147 grain um, Spear Lawman. Um, we're going to try shooting the... R2K9 in the K configuration without the uh, extension on it. And we're also going to shoot this wet. So I've got a bottle of water here. Um, you know, I watched a video from the X-Ring. He told me I could use pee in there if I wanted to, but I don't have to pee right now, so I'll just use water. So I'm going to take the cap full of water. Just dump it right in. And then kind of go like that. Let's see how it sounds now. What are you thinking, Bryson? It's gonna be quieter? Oh yeah, it's gonna be I mean it's shorter quiet. though. Yeah, but it's the design of manufacturing is made to make that thing extremely quiet. Alright, well, let's see. Did you hear anything? <laughs> I don't know what's That's going ridiculous. on. It's like you got camo on the gun. It's, it's not there. Oh. Got me a little stove pipe. Now, that could be the ammo. It could be this ETS mag that I'm running. I don't know. Bryson, why don't you go ahead and give it a, give it a few rounds, bro. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, that's unbelievable. That's crazy. Like, this thing is unbelievably quiet. And um, honestly, I kind of like it in the K configuration a little bit more than the full. I, I do, too. You don't have as much uh, weight on the front of the gun. Yeah. I mean, it's not that it's heavy anyways. I think in full length, it weighs like 11 and a half ounces, and it's about 9 and a half in the K configuration. So Yeah, and the gun is extremely light. The whole package is light in the full and the K configuration. But I think for a pistol combo, setting it up in the K configuration is Kind of spot on and it's unbelievably quiet uh, especially in wet running those 147s um, it's, it's pretty spot on yeah we'll have to try running uh, some 115s first yeah i think shooting it wet will be good all right all right guys still the k configuration wet um i've got some 115 grain here we'll see how this runs it's definitely louder than the 147s you've still got a little bit of crack on it um still very much hearing safe but um, you know, and, and what I'm noticing with it is, I mean, you're getting a lot more background noise than you're actually getting noise out of the gun and the can itself. Um, probably doesn't help that we're kind of like in a valley here where we're shooting. Yeah. yeah <laughs> but definitely. man, that's, that's still pretty quiet. Let me yeah, give it a shot. Definitely quieter when, quiet, or definitely louder when you shoot up that direction. Yep. Try shooting the berm to your right. See how that works okay. out. Okay. Well, it's kind of loud there too. I mean, the gun's not loud. The can's not loud. It's just the echo in the background. Yeah. This is Wayne Hammer R2K9. <laughs> Did you just catch me with my finger on the trigger? So with 147s, wet and K configuration, we still got locked back. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of, it's like a hateful package. Dude, this magazine's getting so dirty from being shot <laughs> suppressed. Like, I mean, a clear magazine is <laughs> starting to turn black. <laughs> oh, man. Need to get some uh, taller sights. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of just, kind of just. Uh...
Microtech Defense, R2K9. Bryson, what are you doing? I'm just smelling freedom. So Bryson, you know what's kind of cool about these instruction guides? What's that? Oh no. They're waterproof. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Looks like they thought about everything. They did, they really did. Oh shit! <laughs>